The authors define millionaires as people with a net worth of $1 million or more. However, they explain that most millionaires are not the flashy celebrities or business moguls that we often see in the media. Instead, they are everyday people who have accumulated wealth through hard work, discipline, and smart financial decisions. These individuals are known as the millionaire next door. So, what are the key characteristics of the millionaire next door? Firstly, millionaires tend to be frugal. They live below their means, avoid expensive status symbols, and are often mistaken for being lower middle class. They prioritize building wealth over displaying it and understand the difference between being rich and looking rich. Secondly, millionaires are hard workers. They have a strong work ethic and are dedicated to their careers or businesses. They view their work as a means to an end, building wealth, rather than an end in itself. Thirdly, millionaires place a high value on education and self-improvement. They tend to be lifelong learners and are always seeking to improve their skills and knowledge. They understand that education is a key factor in building wealth and achieving success. Lastly, the authors provide examples of the types of people who might be millionaires next door, such as teachers and small business owners. These individuals have accumulated wealth through hard work, frugality, and smart financial decisions. The author's research found that millionaires tend to be extremely frugal. They prioritize saving and investing their money over spending it on flashy material possessions. By living below their means, they are able to save a significant portion of their income and use it to build wealth over time. Frugality also allows millionaires to maintain financial independence and security. By avoiding debt and living within their means, they are able to weather financial setbacks and unexpected expenses without derailing their progress towards their financial goals. Moreover, the authors explain that frugality is not just about cutting back on expenses. It's also about being smart with money and making intentional financial decisions. For example, millionaires often shop around for the best deals, negotiate prices, and buy used instead of new. Ultimately, frugality is a key principle in the millionaire next door lifestyle. It allows individuals to save and invest more of their income, maintain financial independence and security, and build long-term wealth. The authors found that millionaires are often extremely busy and engaged in a variety of activities that contribute to their financial success. They prioritize their time and energy to focus on activities that generate the highest returns on investment, such as networking, investing in their own businesses, and seeking out new opportunities for growth. Millionaires also tend to avoid time-wasting activities that don't contribute to their financial success. They prioritize their time and energy to focus on what really matters, such as building their careers or businesses, spending time with family, and pursuing hobbies and interests that help them stay focused and energized. Moreover, the authors explain that the millionaire next-door lifestyle is not just about working hard and making money. It's also about making smart decisions with both time and money. Millionaires prioritize their time and energy to focus on activities that have the highest potential to generate long-term financial returns. Contrary to popular belief, the authors found that millionaires don't typically place a high value on owning expensive cars or other luxury items. They tend to be practical and value-oriented, preferring to spend their money on things that will help them build wealth, such as investments in their businesses, real estate, and other income-producing assets. In fact, the authors found that many millionaires prefer to own modest, practical cars that provide reliable transportation rather than expensive luxury cars. They also tend to avoid other types of luxury items that don't provide long-term value or contribute to their financial success. Moreover, the authors explain that millionaires are often able to achieve financial success precisely because they don't spend their money on expensive status symbols. By allocating more of their resources towards wealth-building activities, they are able to build their net worth and achieve financial independence. Economic outpatient care is financial assistance provided to adult children by their parents or other family members. The authors found that many millionaires are reluctant to provide excessive economic outpatient care to their own children. They believe that too much financial support can lead to a sense of entitlement and hinder the development of self-sufficiency and independence. Instead, millionaires tend to focus on providing their children with non-financial resources such as education, work ethic, and moral values. They understand that building wealth is a process that requires hard work and discipline, and they want their children to learn those values as well. Overall, the authors suggest that parents should be cautious when providing economic outpatient care to their children. While it may seem like a kind gesture, it could ultimately hinder their children's financial success and personal growth. 
they found that many millionaires come from families that emphasize hard work, education, and financial responsibility. These values are instilled in them from a young age and continue to shape their attitudes towards money and success. Furthermore, the authors discovered that many millionaires have supportive spouses who contribute to their financial success. These spouses often share similar values and are willing to work together to achieve their financial goals. This support can come in the form of working together to save and invest money, providing emotional support during difficult times and helping each other navigate the challenges of entrepreneurship and business ownership. The authors suggest that family support and a strong upbringing can be a significant factor in wealth accumulation. By emphasizing hard work, education, and financial responsibility, parents can help set their children up for success. Similarly, finding a supportive spouse who shares similar values and goals can be a significant advantage in building wealth. Overall, the authors emphasize the importance of strong family relationships and supportive partnerships in achieving financial success. These factors can help individuals overcome challenges and achieve their goals through hard work and dedication. In this chapter, the authors emphasize the importance of finding a profitable niche in business or investing. They argue that millionaires tend to specialize in specific areas and focus their efforts on becoming experts in their chosen field. One of the benefits of finding a niche is that it allows millionaires to build wealth more quickly than more traditional career paths. By becoming an expert in a particular area, they can identify opportunities and take advantage of them before others do. Some of the niches that millionaires might specialize in include real estate, small business ownership, or investing in specific industries. For example, a millionaire might focus on investing in technology startups or in the healthcare industry. The authors stress that finding a profitable niche requires hard work, research, and a willingness to take calculated risks. It's not enough to simply choose an area that seems promising, millionaires must also be willing to put in the effort to become experts in their chosen field. In this chapter, the authors compare the career paths of self-made millionaires to those of ES or trust fund recipients. First, they point out that self-made millionaires often have less prestigious or glamorous careers than ES. They may work in blue-collar jobs, run small businesses, or pursue other career paths that aren't typically associated with wealth. However, despite their less glamorous careers, self-made millionaires are able to achieve financial success through hard work and frugality. They prioritize building wealth over social status and are willing to make sacrifices in the short term in order to achieve their long-term financial goals. In contrast, as and trust fund recipients often have access to significant financial resources from a young age. They may be born into wealth or inherit it from their parents and as a result, they may not place as much emphasis on building their own careers or businesses. The authors argue that this can be a disadvantage in the long run, as ES may not develop the same level of financial discipline or work ethic as self-made millionaires. Without the need to work hard and make sacrifices to achieve financial success, ES may struggle to maintain their wealth over time. In conclusion, The Millionaire Next Door provides valuable insights into the habits and lifestyles of self-made millionaires. From the importance of frugality and practicality to the value of finding a profitable niche, the book offers practical advice for those looking to build wealth. The authors emphasize the key role of hard work, education, and financial responsibility in achieving financial success and warn against the potential pitfalls of economic outpatient care and a focus on material possessions. Overall, this book is a must-read for anyone looking to learn from the habits and lifestyles of self-made millionaires.